Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys Hyplink, which is a product that I've been building using Ruby on Rails. So I just wanted to give a little tour and go over a couple of the features. Uh, so I'll sign in with Google. Just select my account. And there is no email sign up right now. I'm not even sure if I really want to do that. For now, I just want to make it really easy to create an account, uh, create an account and get going. So uh, I'm going to show you guys just like what a live page looks like. So it lets you just, you enter links and then you can create your own page. So next I want to show you the edit screen and this is just kind of how it looks as you're creating. There are a couple options like you can replace the Hyplink logo. You can put in like your Google and your Facebook picture ID so that you can generate your own page. And this is so you can, um, I mean, this is so you can generate your own analytics. And then the embed is so you can kind of embed this into any web page and it'll take over that page and become your hyperlink. So it's kind of a way to have a custom domain or add hyperlink to a, a, an existing website pretty easily. You just drop this in and then you'll get a page that looks just like this one. Like that. The next thing I would like to show you is the customize feature. And this is just a tool that's kind of like Tumblr-esque or kind of like Squarespace where you can customize the page. And so you just select from these colors and then you'll be able to save uh, your customizations. You, shall, you can also change like the fonts pretty easily. And then the link color. So just a really simple way to kind of build a splash page without having to code or without having to really try too hard. It's pretty simple to just log in, create a page and good to go um, and then what's really cool about this too is their services like linktree and they let you have one page right but this lets you create multiple pages for different things so for example I have my personal one and then I also have one for my cheese mode which is an EP that I made so I have this whole separate page for that and that just has the music link so I'm able to create and manage these different pages all from one account you can view the stats Actually, let me show you guys the stats. So you can see like page views over time and I haven't really been marketing this one, so it's kind of low, but you can see like clicks per day, total clicks per link. So you can kind of use this data to build your strategy. Like I tend to push Spotify more, so I'll mention that more and that's what gets the most clicks. And then the top cities. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all the features that I want to go over real quick. And if you have any questions or if you want to try it and give me any feedback, please feel free. Um, yeah. <laughs> 